Just be happy. Why not? Just be happy. Don't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time once again for the Happy Show. And I am called Happy. H A P I. That's Heavenly Anointing Presence innately. That's in me and that's in you. Yes, I am called Happy. And welcome to the Happy Show. And we're going to have a very, very, very special guest, Chef Manning. And he's going to be here to tell you how he makes people happy. For to make sure that everybody's on the same vibration, the same uh, accord, I should say. Uh, for three counts and three, we're going to inhale God, your God, your creator, or uh, whatever makes you divine and happy. We're going to inhale God and exhale love. Are you ready? Here we go. How do you feel? Are you happy? <laughs> well, my dog feels. Yes, we have a special guest today. Yes, uh, the Chef Manny. And he's going to tell you how he makes people happy. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Okay? Chef Manny, how are you? I'm doing well. Very well. Welcome to the Happy Show. Thank you very much, Happy. Yes, you know, I'm so glad I did a little scouting. You know, me and my dog, we always go up in the neighborhood and see what's going on. And we had this, all these people were smiling, you know. They were smiling and they, they were opening up these two, um, it looks like curtains in the middle of, uh, you know, how you have doors and to the next door to each other. But it was, this building didn't have any doors. It was a curtain. And it was a dark curtain. And then all of a sudden I saw people going in. And people were eating. And they were smiling. And they were laughing. You know, my dog was with me. And he was like laughing all the time too. There you go. He remembers. Yeah. And uh, I, I looked inside. I walked in. And there was you. You were, you were preparing food. Chef Manny, uh, tell us how you make people happy. Well, uh, it's very simple, happy. Um, we we do know we, people know us for being make them happy, and that's one of probably my goal in life is like to make everybody happy. Nobody can leave my restaurant without being happy. Mm -hmm. I will do whatever it takes to make people happy, yeah. and to encourage that, I I go uh, I go around my you know my passion. Mm -hmm. So basically, I encourage people to find their passion. Yes, and then yeah. devote their souls and their life to mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you do, just do it right yes. and do it good. It might not be good at the beginning, yes. but if you do it every day, you will master it through the years and you will make it perfect. And as long as you're doing what you want, you will always be happy. Nobody wants to have anybody to tell you what to do. No one wants anybody to tell you how to do things mm -hmm. matter than you. But if you are happy doing what you want, uh -huh. you will reach happiness. Very easy and very simple. Well, interesting. You know, my dog, he does what he wants to do. There he goes again. He's laughing. He just does. He laughs when he wants to laugh. But, you know, happiness, you know, I was listening to you. And, um, you know, it's just catching up a lot of different sounds here, so I had to be kind of still. But I was listening to you, and I, I was noticing that you said that, see, most people think money makes you happy. You know, and I tell my guests all the time, you know, and they're not really happy, you know. And so you say doing what you want to do, so that's like your passion, you mean, you know. So how do people make money? And because that seems to be on everybody's mind, but they're still not happy. So how can you make money and still be happy? So and it, well, in my case, um, I used to work for the most richest people in the United States. Mm -hmm. I work in a cook for Every artist, every Hollywood star, every rock star, mm. pop singers in New York, Miami, Colorado, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to, one day, after 14 years of dedicating career, I working 16 hours a day, seven days a week, mm -hmm. I say, I'm going to stop cooking for only the rich people mm -hmm. because I always have the same salary and I am not happy. I'm happy when I'm cooking, mm -hmm. but there is something missing in my life. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like, the, and I was making people happy, but they were not giving me, showing me their happiness back to me. Uh -huh. So I stopped doing what I was doing, and I opened my own place, which was Mr. Pollo. Mm -hmm. And I decided to do not just what I want. It sounds kind of rude, but it's like 
to doing what I think is right, to do things the way I want it to be done, mm -hmm. to and not charge much people. So my concept was fine dining for hardworking people. There was my business plan was not to be a successful business plan. It was not to make money. Mm -hmm. It was based in how do I become happy. Mm -hmm. So when I was happy, it was when I was in vacation. When I was happy is when I was in my weekend. And I realized what I do in my weekends, what I do on vacation, I do what I want. So I turned my day by day into a vacation. So I turned my life into a vacation. I didn't have to wait a year to enjoy life for only one week. I thought, I'm, it's kind of like when people see in black and white, mm -hmm. they're missing all the other colors. Oh, you know? So you have to expand your mind and see what is what I really want. Mm -hmm. That you say, oh, I want this car. Really, that's what you want? Mm -hmm. If you really think about it, you know, there are other things that are more beautiful. Like, we go to the farmer's market every morning and we look at the flowers. We look at how beautiful the vegetables are stuck right next to each other. Like, these colors with next to the other vegetable, the contrast of colors, like, it's kind of like a, a Baroque piece of art, but, mm -hmm. and it changes every day. And it, you look at the water, you look at, the, like, to the sky. Most people don't ever look at the sky. They just walk looking at the floor because they're just thinking about their problems. And, you know, just take two seconds, look up, look, take a look up and just look at the beautiful blue sky. It will make you happy. My grandma used to say, the, the best things in life, they're for free. They're for go free. take a walk, go take a hike, yes. go smell a flower. They don't, you can buy flowers, but they don't charge you for smelling the flowers. You can go to no, the farmer's no. market and smell them for free. My dog smells the flowers all the time, he does. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, he, 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 he knows, he knows, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, being happy is appreciating everything and every moment, every time, you know. It's, it's, and it's a very interesting thing that um, most people think happiness is out of. You know, I'm glad you expressed it. And speaking of being happy, I have stupid I can tell it by the way over the end where you know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Happy Show. My name is Happy. And you too can be a guest on our show and tell everybody what it means to be happy. We have a special guest, uh, Mr. Manning there. Polo, Palo, Chicken. <laughs> yes, he has a nice restaurant on Mission Street. He's going to give you the address in a few minutes. And we're going to have a nice little roll in to tell you uh, where he's located and how to get there. But yeah, for those who are just tuning in for the Happy Show, I am Carl Happy. And you too can be a guest on our show, so give us a time, or, or, or sometime, sometime, a call. 415-573-5549. That's 415-573-5549. And tell us what it means to be happiness and what happiness means to you. Now we're going to get back to our very, very special guest, uh, Mr. Manning, uh, Chef Manning, I should say. It is Polo Chicken. <laughs> yes, Manning, tell us again. Uh... Uh, now, your restaurant, where's it located exactly? Oh, wait a minute, hold up one second. Please be quiet down there. We got to talk. We have guests. Thank you so much. This is yeah. the, the, the happiest dog i ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. He's always laughing. He's always laughing. He's up there. Going, oh, come on, we're not talking to you. He's just talking about you. Okay. Mr. Foyle yes. is located on Mission and 24th Street. It's the 2823 Mission Street, San Francisco, California. Mm -hmm. We don't have a website. We don't have a, a reservations. We don't uh, have a sign. It's a black wall with black curtains. You open them. It's a little beautiful hole in the wall in the mission. It's a, it's a gem. You, you, it's hard to find, but when, when you actually make it through uh, those uh, curtains and you actually get to have a, ch a table, you will enjoy a, a, little for, a little menu that is created to please people, to please the palate, to amuse your body mm -hmm. and with nutritional facts and with beautiful experience and it will tell you a story about how I happy I am. I, I express my happiness through my food and after everybody eats, they always live happy. You know, this is why all those people, are, you know, every time I go by there, you know, I see people laughing, coming in. They even have a line outside. They're waiting to get in laughing. They're waiting in the rain. And, it's, and I went in, it was so intimate, so very intimate. And you have, wait a minute, you have, what kind of food? You have organic food? Or Everything is organic. We go to the farmer's market every morning. And we gather not just organic vegetables, the rarest, and they want the, the basically the, that, the forgotten food, the food that we forgot how to eat. Now people, is very basic food. So um, we try to excite people when they look at something and they're like, oh, what is that? And they try to guess and they guess the, the, the first thing that comes to their mind. Mm -hmm. And I laugh because the, the, that's the only thing they see or they're watching TV, mm -hmm. but then they're like, their grandparents used to eat this product and they forgot about it because now you can, people don't, in, in the normal supermarkets, they don't sell them. You have to go to a, 
specialty supermarkets to find this product. Yeah, but when I see them, they're smiling like they enjoy it. I mean, is, is, this, is this a rare kind of uh, plants that you have, mushrooms and yeah. different things? or is this like, <laughs> I mean, because they, they, they act like they're tasting something they never tasted There's before. There's definitely uh, no substance to make happiness. So, source is uh, scientifically proven that there is no aphrodisiacs into food. But what it is, is a placebo. It enhances people to enjoy life mm. because it, it explodes five different uh, senses in the body. You mean you are actually given all this positive energy and light and happiness through food? I do. Um, we, uh, not just we d make like a poem with our dishes, we, um, we decided to, uh, it's like, there's no pretentiousness in the place. People is able to come in, w wear whatever they want, be as loud as they want to be. They can bring their own drinks. We have a license, so they will charge for a little corkage. But like, you bring your own beer, not the beer that I'm selling, but you can bring the beer that you like, you can bring the, the wine that you like, mm -hmm. to pair it with the food, to enjoy. And even if you don't drink, the, the food is so beautiful that makes you happy. And we have beautiful, rare, tropical juices. They'll pair them with them. And it will also give you the same satisfaction and the same experience. Wow, this is really, really amazing. I mean, you know, I mean, well, well, you know, look, one second. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Happy. Welcome to the Happy Show. We have this very, very extremely special guest, a guest, Chef Manny. And he has a, well, mission is his happiness. And he has a store, not a store, a restaurant, that he goes to the store and get all his organic, food that actually makes you happy and how he really makes people happy again you know this was exciting you were telling us about uh how you were able to get this special special uh uh kind of uh uh you say it doesn't grow everywhere i mean is it, is it hard to uh, most very, uh, most foods uh that, that you can find in the market uh, the, especially the ones that are displayed are the most common ones the most popular ones because the farmers need to make money and mm -hmm. they need to pay for the you know things but also these farmers, they grow specific things for us, mm -hmm. special requests. I grow a pepper called Ají Dulce. The, I'm from Venezuela and it's a, like mm -hmm. the national pepper. Like it, it's basic thing for our food. And this farmer grow it specifically for me. He never grow organically, he only grow wild in Venezuela. And now he does it organically. No other Venezuela have been able to grow there's, it. There's no soil there, you mean? No, I mean, I mean they, organically, they, what do you mean? Let's explain. People say organically, they think organic and natural is the same thing. You can have yeah. a natural chemical. Uh, exactly. They're so, natural. Also or, or, organic. Explain that a little bit. So uh, organic, it means um, it's been grown with no pesticides, no, um, there's basically no chemicals added to the to the growing process, but it's uh, man produced. There's also uh, vegetables or fruits or legumes that grow in the wild, mm -hmm. in the f forest. And that's a different kind of food too. It's still considered organic, but mm -hmm. there's no chemicals added to this. Mm -hmm. And there's also like biodynamics, which mm -hmm. is a little more deep into foods. And you know, they play with the moon faces, when, when to cut the vegetables at the right time. Yes. And then, but like th this all works. And I think, you know, uh, actually this is scientifically proven that all the reason there is like the diabetes, uh, cancer, uh, and especially the, in the big numbers there right now, it's all based on what we eat. You are what you eat, yes. and food will be the medicine. We basically, you should not be able to buy medicines. You should not even go to the doctor if you have a balanced diet with products like this. So in other words, you mean taking care of yourself, you can cure yourself eating the right foods and going to the right restaurant, of course, or at least going to the restaurant that understands the importance of not just making money, but giving the customers organic, nice, healthy food. Yes. And it's this being healthy and happy, does they go hand in hand together or what? Being healthy and happy? I think one thing leads to another. I don't think you can be happy if you are sick. I don't think you can be happy if you're having pain. I don't think you can be happy if you're tired. Mm -hmm. So eating good, uh, it really helps to be happy because uh, sometimes you have a meal made out of uh, processed foods and, and like all these saturated fats and after you have this uh, fast food because you're hungry and you know you are happy because you're not hungry anymore yes. <laughs> but then a minute later you feel really bad because your body it feels like you're so full and you like your body's fighting all these like uh, chemicals that's trying to like spit out but it won't mm. go out it just it just stays there it makes you feel bad for a little bit until you digest it yeah so do you think we need three meals a day we i don't think we don't need three meals a day but it 
it's very recommendable for okay. everybody to yes. have three yeah. small meals. Yes. And any, not anything, but as you say once again, uh, happy, healthy things. The healthy yeah. things are happy. Yes. Two, the two H's, the two H's. Healthy, happy. Healthy, happy, yes. That's another one, yeah. My dog always always tells me about how to create. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> Every time he comes in, he, he let me know that it's time for a commercial, okay? I'm sorry, so let me, excuse me for a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Happy, and welcome to the Happy Show. That's H-A-P-I, Heavenly Anointed Presence Innately. That's in me, and that's in you. And we want you to be a guest on our show, so give us a call, 415-573-5549. That's 415-573-5549. And tell us what it means to be happy, or at least what happiness means to you. Today, we have a very, very, very extremely special guest today. Yes, Chef Manny. And he does not just chef thing, but he does a little special twitch because he has a passion, and his passion is to help people, not just in serving them food and giving them uh, stuff to eat, but healthy things, healthy things that make them happy. He's... His concept is saying that um, health brings happiness, you know? So sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself, and we're going to get back to Chef Manny and see what he says. Chef, uh, yes, uh, for those who are out there, and I want you to look into the camera there, and they don't know what happiness is, and they haven't had a chance to get into your restaurant to taste happiness, tell them, what do you think it means to be happy and how it can better help them because they're not happy? What do you think? So uh, earlier you mentioned um, that most people think that if they have money, they are happy. So people always ask me, if you have a bigger restaurant, uh, would you like to have a bigger restaurant so you can make more money? I say, if I am 100% happy, would having a, a brand new car will make me happier? No. When you're 100% happy, there's nothing else in the world that can make you more happy than when you're happy you already are. So will, will it help me to do other things? Yes. So find that passion first. It's really hard. I was very lucky to find my passion when I was 19 years old. But I was very loved. My parents allowed me to do everything I wanted to do. Not in a bad way. They were always correcting me, but they never hit me. They always talked to me. They're always um, encouraging. Huh? Encourage me. Yeah. My mom say, if you can train a dog how to how to sit and walk, you can. Babies are way smarter than them. Yeah. And if you talk to them, it's how you. It's if it's not listening to you, if it's not obeying you, it's because the message is not clear. Mm -hmm. So you just have to change the way of tra transmit the transmission of the message. Yes. So work on that. So I did all the sports. I didn't like them. I did. I went to college. I didn't like it. I wanted to be a chef. Right. When I came to the United States, I started working in a restaurant mm -hmm. because I was going for hospitality management in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And I decided to be happy, right? Happy. And yes. then I decided to do um, something different. I was like, I'm, this is not make me happy. Yes. So I, went, I started as a dishwasher and I was so happy just to be in an environment of a restaurant with food, mm -hmm. with this, everybody's clean, everybody. Mm -hmm. The discipline in the restaurant, there was, you know, a general, there was the chef, the sous chefs were the captains. It was amazing. So, wait a minute, you're, you're trying to tell me that happiness is just deciding to be whichever, what, whatever makes you happy, huh? Yes. That's amazing. That's it was really interesting. You know, I thank you very much for being on our show, you know, and thank you so much. And uh, before we go, it's it okay, I have a little uh, five minutes, uh, five minutes and 57 seconds uh, roll in. Of you in your restaurant is it okay if I show the guests? Very nice, that, that, that uh, did you at work and you're you're sitting there? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, please show my passion to people. So maybe hopefully we a lot of people is passionate like me and they can follow my passion. But if not, you need to find your passion and explode it. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Chef Manning, and we're gonna give you a nice little roll in here so you can see Chef Manning uh, at work. Then is Parlo Red. Yeah. Oh, before we go, we gotta ask some. So that in case you see, because you know what he does? He doesn't have reservations. He doesn't have a Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So, but he's going to give you the No address. fancy chandeliers. Yeah, no chandeliers. <laughs> yes, welcome to the Happy Show. You're doing a fantastic thing in your restaurant here. Tell us about the name of the restaurant and how we can come out and take advantage of it. Hi, I'm Chef Manny Torres. So no, we're very happy to be here and we share cooking, fine dining food for all the hardworking people, which uh, inspire more happiness to other people that can reach certain levels of food. We, uh, we were very unhappy chef, we are chef chef, then we work fine dining in uh, the highest stressful environment, and we decided to go in the opposite direction, have our own place with crazy ideas, our menu, and 
no pretensions, uh, we just wanted to have fun. And ever since we did, decided to do that, we've been extremely happy. We accomplished what we're looking for in life, and I recommend everybody should do this. Well, thank you, guys. Let's some vegetarians. Yes, vegetarians are always welcome. We go to the farmer's market every day. We bring nothing but the best and the freshest of the California offers to us. I heard a lot of friends about you. What's the exact address so I can tell them how they get here? Yeah, 2823 20, uh, Mission Street. It's really hard to find. It's just a black wall with black curtains. It's half a sign. But if, you, if, you, if you're supposed to be here, you will find it. We're going from 11 to 2 30 for lunch and 6 to 11 at night. We are open for lunch and dinner uh, for Tuesday to Saturday and Sunday mornings for lunch. Well, good. I'm glad to be on the happy so you can make a lot of people happy. You're going to let your customers don't wait to take the order so we can um, let them... Let's make them happy. And make them happy. All right. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the chef here in town who's making everything go down really nice there. Nice little different sounds and music there. As you can see that he is making his way. How are you folks out there doing? Yeah. Uh, this is going on channel 29, uh, at table, at cable access, if it's okay with you guys. All right, enjoy your meal, because this is a famous restaurant here, and we want to let everybody know, go in town where to come and get the, the good food there. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your meal. All right. Yes, ladies and gentlemen here, Queen. Yes, I see you on the scene. How are you yeah. doing? Uh, wow. I love it, I love it. I love, you love it, it, love it, yeah. yeah. You haven't tried the vegetarian dishes here yet? Have great vegetables and splendid fresh salad. Every time I come, I get a nice fresh salad here. Oh, you like the salads, huh? Garden's freshest. Oh, best. that's good. That's yes. really good to know, you know? All right. Uh, I see some pictures on the wall over there, you know? Uh, let me see what we got here. Uh, well, let's just go around. This is Chef. Yeah, how you doing, Chef? How you doing today? What's your number one seller that everyone loves to eat while you're here? Everything. You know, I heard a couple of uh, few customers here, they say they like your smile. They come back for the smile. Yeah, that's very important, you know? Yes, you know, I'm going to tell like a lot of people come out of town, they want to know where the good place to eat. Now I know where to take them, you know? Uh, Carl, get to be our guest on the Happy Show. We're going to tell you what's going on good round around town there. And look, he's fixing up something really nice there. It looks pretty serious, too, to me. Yeah, those flavors there. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Yes. Well, it looks good. Yeah, it's just a little special. Tuscan melons. What's, what's it called there? It's a Tuscan melon salad. Oh, okay. Tuscan right. melon salad, yes. Of course, early in the morning, we always got the rooster rolling and then breakfast show. So, so give us a call, 415-573-5549. Oh, did I tell you about the music here? Wonderful. Oh, the music here? Yeah, 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 best. Oh, these were goodies. Oh, <laughs> Everything old is new, huh? That's right. Unless you're going to wrap around town and make sure everything is through. All right, Queen, thanks a lot. Thanks so much. And we love you. Give us a big kiss for the happy. See you later. You guys. Bye happy. now. Thank you. Yeah, I, I remember when you first started there, and now you have a whole crew there working with you. The grill is full. People are happy and people are smiling. Would you would want a bigger place? I mean, you know, it looks like it's always jumping and busy here. I'm 100% happy right now. So I think if I go bigger, I'm 100% the limit. You can be any happier. Right? So it comes from stress, it comes from more work, it involves more hours, and a lot of, uh, you can control the food, and you can just to be a process for us. Uh, and it's very slow, and you can control the food for a long duration. So it's a long process, but it's very good. It's a lot of energy for each plate. It's like nine to ten ingredients per plate. We, we wanted to keep it that way. Just make sure that everybody gets to enjoy the best quality Yeah, this place is very famous, but not everybody know about this place here, you know. They just keep, can't get in here enough, you know. And the food is really fantastic here. It's really, really great there, you know. And they can just give you more people at your time. 2823 Mission. You can't miss it. Come back. Okay, and I noticed you didn't talk about a phone number, I guess, because the doors would be probably be breaking down, huh? Yeah, we, we no Twitter, no Facebook, no, no website. We're really lucky. We want to keep it this way. Nice and quiet. I like that. We're, we're open from 6 to 11 at night and 11 to 1 in the afternoon. Okay, I'll give you a little time to rest then, huh? Wow, thank you so very much. 
They will look on the grill, yo. You don't have to chill. Good food and good taste. How about that? Gourmet. Gourmet at its best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the movie music is always different. I see the people in the background there and they're enjoying themselves and really having a nice time there. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you very much for being on the Happy Show. And that's it. I got to quit. I got to go. You know, that's all, y'all. Now, the best way to make someone happy? Well, I should say the best way to make yourself happy is to make someone else happy. <laughs> and see how you feel. Just be happy. I like that. See you. Bye. Our location is on 2823 Mission Street, San Francisco, California. Mm -hmm. It's 24th and Mission Street in between... 24th and 25th. So come visit us and be happy. Just be happy. Why not? Just be happy. Don't stop. Every day is a miracle. Life is a miracle. Day is a miracle.